Hey, Mr. Parker here to review the newest one for Massacre Video. Uh, this is Voyage to Agathis, or, uh, yeah, Agathis. I hope I've said that right. Uh, I know that is some literature or, you know, some sort of uh, mystical place. I'm not really familiar with uh, its origins necessarily. But uh, I, I, this is the first time I've uh, actually seen this director's work, uh, Dora. He did uh, the movie uh, Angel Mel... Uh, Melancholia or a Melancholy Angel. I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's never been released in the United States. Uh, I have a German import, but it has no subtitles, and I guess it's a two hour movie where subtitles are definitely uh, a necessity. I did see uh, some of his film, Cannibal, which was uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, so, this is my first full experience with uh, this director, and I must say I was uh, pretty impressed. <laughs> Uh, essentially, it follows the story of uh, this couple who invite this young girl on a cruise with them on the boat. And uh, they are uh, uh, really strange people by obvious, you know, obviously very weird. But uh, this girl, you know, she goes anyway. She's naive. And uh, unfortunately for her, uh, it was not a good decision. Uh, the two, the, the male obviously has a sexual tension to him. Uh, you can cut it with a knife how horny this guy seems and how creepy and how aggressive he really is. Uh, at first the woman seems very aggravated that she's even along for the ride, but soon her tune changes as well. Uh, like I said, this is a, this is a very, uh, like, uh, it's a very violent movie. And, uh, the best thing about it is, is, uh, definitely, um, the only thing that, uh, you know, is it just as beautiful in this movie as the score is probably the location. I can't believe what they did with the location. They make the ocean seem like it's alive. All the shots are, are, are amazing. Uh, they're on the you know they're out in the sea on the boat, and I think they did a top notch job with that uh, filming in the sea. I, I think it looks great uh, with the music and stuff like that. Uh, and beginning the film opens up with a, <coughs> a murder a point of view murder and uh the oceans uh well as the sea the wa the waves are coming in crashing down involved with it really creates a great claustrophobic feel uh like i said uh i was impressed with the movie and then i put in the special features and found out they shot this in three days and i was thinking wow that was very impressive in in that case i thought the acting was done uh really well and i thought that, that the opening was pretty graphic but the ending was horrifically graphic uncomfortably graphic at the end uh but i would recommend this one if people like uh you know extreme films or really well made uh you know low budget films at the same time like i would compare the the score to something ritz ortolani would do from cannibal holocaust and uh location shots as well uh i have not seen the ocean come this alive in a long time uh, well, I keep saying the ocean, but it was the sea, you know, the water essentially come alive this well in a movie ever, I don't think, that I can think of. Uh, there's also this weird narration that's uh, pretty uh, pretty unique, I guess, if you'd want to say, and it involves with the film. It's kind of weird uh, to think about, real weird, creates really weird visuals if you even try to uh, think of the visuals. Uh, the DVD comes with a, a short interview with the director whose face is blurred out, must have to keep himself a mystery. And with the uh, producer and, uh, well, I yeah, producer. I think he was the producer in this. I'm not sure. But he's also the lead actor. At least the casting, he was the casting director. So I thought that was kind of funny that he, you know, is surrounded by his two uh, beautiful naked women. He's the casting director, so he kind of picked them out. But uh, he uh, is in the film uh, as well. 
as the lead. Uh, I think he does a really great job, and I think it would be, uh, I just kept thinking he looked like Fedor, the MMA fighter, and he was doing all these horrific things. But uh, yeah, I would suggest checking this one out. Uh, it comes with four short films on here as well. Uh, the camera they used to shoot, it's not necessarily an amazing thing, but there was no crew, so, you know, it, the picture quality on this movie doesn't, isn't really, the, you know, the, the, the thing that's going to sell it because it's not there on the, I mean, the movie, the picture quality on the film's not, nothing amazing, so the DVD probably didn't need to be remastered all that much. But I would uh, say check this one out. Uh, I was very impressed with it, like I said, and I'll probably go watch my other films by him. But this came out in 2008, I would, uh, 2010, but made in 2008, it's only 73 minutes long. I really thought it, it was older while watching it. But uh, I think that it has some uh, good acting, some uh, great locations, a great score, and uh, an ending that is definitely cringe-worthy. But this is uh, Voyage to Agathis, uh, Argathis, uh, whatever, however you say it. But uh, check it out for Massacre Video. Uh, there's also a VHS release, which if you want to see the cover art of it, go ahead and check out my... Uh, Cinema Wasteland update. Thank you very much. Have a good one.